Hello friends, welcome to the another video and today we are going to analyze the ammonia in a water. It is very useful for petroleum industries, paint industries, water industries to estimate the ammonia it dissolve in a liquid states. So, this so is the whole setup of ion meter. And now what is the ion meter? Okay guys, ion meter are the devices used for measurement of specific ion in the water with the use of ion selective electrodes. So today our ion selective electrode is ammonia. Some of electrodes are also available in the combination unit, measuring a reference electrode in one housing. So there is a similar like a pH meter, you see the pH electrode, the reference electrode and measuring electrode. In front of me you see the whole set of ion meter, it is attached with the ion selective electrode of ammonia. So first of all you see the ammonium electrode filling solution. We will show you how to fill the electrode filling solution in ammonia electrode and this is the whole setup okay guys for calibration of ion meter so we are prepared three standards from 1000 ppm standard solution crm certified reference material ammonia standard we are prepared three standard from this crm just in front of me you can see 1000 ppm as a n we are prepared three standard 100 ppm second is 10 ppm and last one is 1 ppm so by using the n1 v1 equal to n2 v2 formula we are prepared these three standards as well you know the 1000 ppm is our primary standards also called the certified reference material and it is approved by NIST ok friends now move on to what is ion selective electrode Ion selective electrode measure the activity of an ion in a solution by measuring the electrical potential formed across the membrane when electrode is submerged into the solution. So there are different type of ion selective electrode for chloride, nitride, fluoride, potassium, sodium, carbonate, bicarbonate, so many. These are ion, ion selective electrode is selective for particular ion. Now how it is constructed, this ion selective electrode? Housing. So first of all, how to fill the filling solution in ion selective electrode of ammonia? Just you carefully see. you remove the outermost case of ion selective electrode. It is very delicate bulb, just you see. So handling in proper manner is very important. So we clean our bulb by distilled water. As well you know the distilled water conductivity should be zero because this bulb can be a polarized. Okay guys for connecting with us please subscribe our channel and getting more videos. And with the help of tissue paper, we are drying this bulb and very carefully. Okay guys, now we are going to fill electrofilling solution in outermost case. First of all, we rinse with electrofilling solution. Take very little bit and fill up to the mark. Ok guys, now our ion selective electrode is ready and we are connected from left channel. There are two channels in this ion meter and we are rotating this knob and the connected our ion selective electrode. Ok guys, and now we are using the magnetic stirrer for dissolving the buffer in sample and in standard. So they are showing the RPM revolution per minute. So we set according to our sample. 
now start to calibration and select the channel 1 ok guys and just you see rinse the electrode place into the standard and we are now our instrument is ready for calibration we are taking our first standard 1 ppm we take 100 ml in plastic bottle we are using such type of plastic bottle in which only electrode is deep and the ammonia cannot be liberated outside we add 1 ml buffer for maintaining the pH 11 in which the whole ammonia is liberating out now we completed our first standard calibration and we get the result ok friends we get 99.2 millivolt and at every operation we clean our ion selective electrode by distilled water it is very important for depolarize our ion selective electrode for getting a accurate and precise readings ok guys we are using such type of magnets for magnetic steering you can use such type of magnets now we are ready for second standard we take our second standard 10 ppm and uh, we add 1 ml buffer solution our buffer solution is 10 normal NOH just you see we use this such type of micro pipette for getting accurate and precise and you can see such type of bottles we are using in which the ammonia is liberated only in inside not move to outside ok guys our next calibration start 10 ppm let's see how much we get it takes a too much time we calibrate 10 ppm and we get into 17.3 it's under process it's too much time and uh, stating it's must in this process for each operation for measuring ammonia stating it's very important role because the pH maintaining 11 and liberated the huge amount of ammonia ok we calibrate second standard and we get the 39.7 millivolt and we accept this reading by F2 and move to the next standard 100 ppm and again we are cleaning our and selected out by distilled water and now move to the third standard and uh, take too much time 100 ppm it's under process with 300 rpm ok friends now we get this result minus 19.5 millivolt and we now we overwrite and write 100 ppm and we take three points and press F3 for calibration done and uh, just we see our average slope is minus 59.5 millivolt that's mean our calibration is correct because it is a range minus 55 to minus 60 and our average slope in between minus 59.5 millivolt ok guys now move to our sample we in sample process again we take 100 ml sample and add 1 ml buffer and put our sample in magnetic stirrer and it's under process this is oil sample so the ammonia concentration is too much high in the sample 51 52.1 it's under stabilizing process when it show ready that means this is a final result so instrument show ready and the final result is 53.0 ok guys please subscribe our channel for getting more videos on analytical instruments